Welcome back guys, I'm Shadow, and I'm bringing you another video. So, we are going to go over the weekly reset. So we're going to go head on over to Tess Everest and see what she brought us this week. So, she has brought us the Gallop emote. Giddy up little donkey. He also brought us the Floss Dance. Now this is one that I've been trying to get myself and i got to get the Bright Dust to do it. But basically shaking your hips and wiggling your hands in front and behind. It's really funny, depending on the armor, and especially in Trials, it never gets old. Uh, you also have the uh, Hazalut, oh sorry, Hazalut uh, Sparrow. Pronounce that wrong. I uh, put on a new Monarch Shader like we always do, and it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but on Iron Wolf, the Iron Wolf one I think looks a lot sexier. But hey, if you're looking for an exotic one, go ahead. Uh, Space Age Lancelot. Now this is a generic ship, you know, it, there's other variants of it out there now. Always checking out the new Monarchy shader. It's okay. And we go to Iron Wolf, and that looks really sexy. That actually looks really good. So if you don't have it, pick it up. We have the Verona Mesh. And it is a green ship. Obviously you can change it to with different shaders, as I'm going to do so right now as I always do in every video and it's not a bad ship there are ships that are very similar to this that you can get from the factions and also uh, I guess some legendary uh, sorry bright engrams so they're not uncommon but they're harder to find than other ships we have the down to business this is the weapon ornament for the sweet business which Zer was selling last week so if you picked it up you have the shader this week not the shader the ornament and it does look really sexy. A lot of chrome instead of being white and gold and you have a wood kind of uh, finish on it. And you know what, it looks really good. I'm gonna get it when I get enough bright dust because I have 17. Um, we also have the Particle Accelerator. This is for the exotic pulse rifle. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Tron with like the lights going through real quickly. It is cool. Um, people will notice this in PVP or PVE. It, it'll stand out very much. Um, also, we have the Legs of Optimacy. Uh, these will be available for your Hunter, your Warlock, and your Titan. So for the Warlock, it just has these little bit of boots with some chrome tips on them. It's okay, eh, but if you're looking for the whole set, you might as well go for it. We have the Gray Light Shell. It looks kind of plain on its own, but we add ourselves a shader and voila! It is looking sexier already. I like it. Oh. Sh these shaders, man. The um, sorry, the sorry. Next ghost is the hemisphere shell, and we're gonna go look at the new monarchy shaders. Now, the new monarchy shaders uh, make anything weapons, armor, ghosts, and the iron wolf one makes everything look really sexy. Uh, I always test these out on anything just to see what it looks like firsthand. Uh, we have the Vice Poison Shimmer. The shader gives you kind of like a green, orange, reddish with some purple. It's almost like the best way I can explain it is like if you ever had a holographic card, um, like you know, Pokemon, Digimon, Yu Gi Oh!, anything like that, this is kind of that shimmering effect that you get on the card when you put on a slight angle. Uh, to the light where you get that little bit of red, the orange, the green, the yellow. It's actually not bad, um, but it all depends on the armor set you're equipping on. This one doesn't look so good, but I would still, if you have the bright dust available, pick it up. Now the tarnished copper, depending on which gun you have, like example this one, it looks very shiny and it will stand out really noticeably. Now if you put it on something like Uriel's Gift, it actually changes the um, the actual how it looks a bit like it gives it like kind of like a rough edge on the outside of the gun um, so it actually this one looks sleek Uriel's gift will look a lot more roughed up and it actually uh, it gives it a different visual look which is which is cool that this shader does something like that now the shader on the on my character uh, doesn't look too hot but on other characters where it's more of a bright color and it's more of a like a sleek look it'll be very shiny uh, we have the metro shift shader and it is a 
a blue with some dark, uh, dark black gray, it looks like, kind of. And it has some uh, chrome or silver, whichever one you want to call it. Now this one, obviously, like I said, this, uh, this armor set doesn't really show it off that well. Um, but other ones do show off the silver or the chrome, whichever one you want to call it, a lot better. And you also have your fire team medallions for 50 bright dust. Now, for the milestones this week, you have the crucible challenges, which are daily. Complete three of them, you get reputation bundles, flashpoint uh, is on IO. This is also where K6's stash is going to be. Get the public events, get powerful gear. The Leviathan, complete the raid, get powerful gear. Nightfall, complete the weekly nightfall strike, get powerful gear. And clan XP, earn clan XP and strikes, raids, the crucible, or world activities. Now, if we just go over to the Nightfall, it is the Arms Dealer. And if we put it on, we have Torrent, Boundless Power Ups from within. Your abilities recharge much faster. Use them to shatter your foe. Time Warp, uh, zero hour. The mission timer cannot be extended. Choose your battles carefully. Now, the last time it was on the arms dealer, you had the one where you had to hit the little blue lights to extend your timer. So this one, just being a set timer, is a lot better than having someone having to sit in the back, go in and out of a, a zone, and continually kill something to hit max timer. But, hey, whatever you have to do to complete the nightfall, right? You need that loot. You need that gear. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment down below. I really appreciate it if you guys would be leaving some comments. You know, I, I like to get a, a chat going. And subscribe if you're new to the channel and want more Destiny 2 content. Take it easy, Guardians. Shadow out.